Hey, this is Jeff Beck from the Iron Chamber Gym in Canton for ThePowerLifting.com. Today we're going to talk a little bit about arch bench pressing and the setup of the arch bencher. We have two of our best arch benchers here in the gym. We're going to help us out with demonstration. This is uh, Kyle Alessandro and this is Brian Haney. We're going to go step by step from what we're doing as a gym. We're going to start with uh, you know, the flat bencher and how you typically approach a bench press and then kind of show you the benefits of arch benching and how to get there. Check it out. Okay, here you see Kyle stretching his uh, lats. Uh, we hang a band from the top of the squat rack. Um, and actually we just pull um, across the body and uh, lengthwise as you saw just a second ago. Then we move on to Brian with the ball. These are all lower back stretches that we do. And uh, we're trying to make sure that we can get the maximum arch that we can. So we, you know, we do this ball in the warm up. Uh, you can see and we just kind of lean back, tuck our legs up underneath us and get the best move that we can for the arch. Uh, this is all beneficial as we get into training, and you'll see that here in just a second. Okay, we have Kyle here on the bench. Uh, we're going to line up with just a real basic bench press technique. We got him laying down, we got his feet flat on the floor, butt on the bench, shoulders on the bench. Right now, his head's on the bench. Traditional bench press technique has Kyle take the bar up. Okay, normal bodybuilder bench press, you're going to bring the bar down, touch somewhere across the nipple line, and come straight back up. Okay. We have our tape here, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the range of motion that we have here with Kyle. So do a few reps, Kyle. Go ahead. Where Kyle's touching and where the bar's coming up, at lockout, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Just do a few reps. Puts him somewhere about, now hold it there, about 17 inches is the stroke of the bar that he's doing. Now do a few slow so I can talk about it as you go. You see his hands are positioned over his elbow, which traditionally is where you're going to be. Elbows are a little bit pointing out to the side, which works the nice pec muscles here. Okay? He doesn't get a lot of leg drive. His feet are flat and they're away from him. They're, they're out from underneath his hips. So what we have is, like, like I said, a basic bench press technique that you, know, you would normally find guys stumble on the gym and get a decent workout for your chest muscles here. Um, for building the pecs, great. For moving weight, terrible. Okay? We're going to move on to the next part, show you a little bit more as we go. All right, the first and most basic part of arch bench pressing is being able to shorten the stroke by doing what we call a pinch, okay? We got a mini band here. We're going to grab it six, eight inches apart and simulate a pulling stroke, okay? And what you can see is it pulls my shoulders back, forces my chest out, and gets a nice pinch in the back. So we're going to have Brian demonstrate a few of these so you can kind of see what we're going for here. Go ahead, Brian. Okay, we're pinching the entire shoulder girdle. Everything's staying real tight. This is what you want to maintain. Go ahead and do some reps. What you want to maintain as a lifter and an arch bencher, you keep everything tight. What this does is keep your shoulders back, chest out, shorten your bench stroke, okay? We're going to get Brian on the bench, measure the length of his stroke now, and measure it again just by adding the pinch. We're not moving anything else. We're going to get that far, and that's it. Okay, we're doing Brian, again, back to the basics, the elementary style, bodybuilding style bench press. And Brian has a 16-inch bench stroke, okay? 16-inch, we saw Kyle's bench stroke. Uh, now what we're going to do is have Brian rack the bar. Don't change anything. Don't add an arch. I just want you to pinch, Brian. The same way we did with the mini band is what Brian's going to simulate now by pulling the shoulders back, sticking the chest out, grabbing the bar again with the exact same grip and the width. Okay, now we've already shortened Brian's stroke to 10 and a half inches. Okay? So go ahead and do a few reps, Brian. Okay? Perfect. Now what we're going to do is have him rack the bar. Go ahead and film on this on this uh, thing here. Uh, the, the, most federations will let you get 32 inches, okay? Which on a good power bar or Olympic bench, 32 inches is what you are from neural, neural to neural. So check the bar in your gym, kind of see where you're at. 32 inches is what you're allowed. Your index finger has to be touching that line or a butt to that line, all right? So what we're going to do with Brian, where he had his hands before, like traditional style, is we're going to move him out to wherever he's comfortable, and we're going to make sure that each ring is exactly the same. Okay, now again, we're not doing anything with an arch. All we're doing is having him pinch. We're having him pull his shoulders back, chest out, and we're going to show you the difference just by moving his fingers out about three inches on each side where his bench strokes. So pinch real tight, Brian. Bring the bar down. Let's do a few reps. You can move in a little bit so you can see this. Brian's bench stroke is now down to eight inches. Okay? All right, so that's where we're at with his bench. So we already, just by changing his fingers, we've already moved the bench press a little bit. We're going to wrap this on to the next part, we're going to talk about legs, hip drive, and the arch itself. Okay, right now we have Kyle making sure he's good and loose, he's stretching on a ball. Um, what we're trying to do with an arch bench press is simulate the decline press, okay? 
which was going to allow him to use more lats, use a lot more muscles than he normally would with the bodybuilder style bench press, okay? We're trying to maximize everything he's got. You'll notice as Kyle goes on, he's going to move his feet up underneath him on this ball, and this is where we're going to start to simulate what we're trying to do on the bench, okay? We're going to want his feet underneath his hips. It's going to maximize his leg drive. He's going to clench his ass together, try to roll his pelvis open, and it's going to try to make everything really tight in his lower back. All right, so for now, we're going to let him do this. We're going to do some hip flexor stretches, and we're going to move Kyle onto the bench and show you the arch bench press te technique at that time. Okay, right now we have Brian demonstrating the hip flexor stretch. It's pretty much a uh, standing still version of a lunge uh, that you'd normally do with dumbbells on leg day. We have Kyle doing the stretch also. You want to make sure that you alternate legs, do both sides. Get good and loose, good and deep. Make sure that you can fully stretch and, you know, try to stay upright as you can and really stretch it really good, you know, across the uh, hip joint and in front of your body. Make sure you're nice and loose and ready. This will maximize your arch. Okay, we have Brian right now set up in like a, uh, in his arch. Uh, obviously, this isn't going to be how he's going to bench, but I asked him to hold this as uncomfortable as it may be so I could show you. His ass is still on the bench underneath here, right at the bottom of his ass, and I can reach my arm completely underneath him, okay? What this does, Kyle, if you can get this up underneath here, what this does is shorten the distance from his shoulder to his ass, okay? Which, again, like I said, is still making contact here. What he's doing is he has a really strong, hard pinch. We're going to ask him to grab the bar now at this time, and I'm going to show you the difference in his bench press, press, press groove now that we have his arch intact, okay? Now, as opposed to before where we were coming up our chest, we want the highest point, okay? And what we have our lifters do before the liftoff is take a huge inhale through their mouth, which is going to give him a stomach. Now, obviously, he doesn't have much of a gut like I do, but we're trying to make, make do, okay? So bring the bar down, right? Bring the bar up. Bring the bar down. Bring the bar up. Kyle, if you can get this on video. Bring the bar down. Bring the bar up. We're at six inches, okay? We shortened his bench stroke down to six inches. One more time. Straight point down, straight point up. Straight point down, straight point up. You notice if he comes over his eyes, where the plane of bar, you know, the bar plane is going to travel, it's going to be up and over his eyes, and it's going to lengthen his stroke. We're not trying to lengthen the stroke, we're trying to shorten the stroke. By coming up over his eyes, we actually went back to nine and a half inches. We try to go down, straight up. Down, straight up. Now, Kyle, on the other hand, his arch is a little bit different. Radical, dramatic, and very efficient, but it is a little different. So we're going to show you his style now. Okay, now we got Kyle on the bench. Like I said, a little different style, a little smaller lifter uh, by 50, 60 pounds under Brian. So he is definitely more flexible. You can see his arch, his feet are positioned well underneath him. There's no chance for his ass coming off the bench the way his feet are positioned. He's going to stay here. We have the same arc underneath him. He has his shoulders pinched. Everything's drawn tight, chest out. And you'll watch him take his breath through his mouth, and we'll show you his bench stroke here as we go. Ready? One, two, three. Huge breath in the stomach, shoulders back, chest out. Go ahead, Kyle. Then bring his bar down. Up. Good. Down. Up. Good. Down. Up. Perfect. Now you see what Kyle's doing is again, Kyle's more of a lifter that does like to bring the bar over his eyes, which works for him. He has a radical arch. He can do that, okay? This is kind of where you have to experiment and see where you're more comfortable. There are plenty of different styles of arch, different setup techniques, and different ways to do this. Okay, next thing we're going to talk about is setup. The most important thing with arch benching is being consistent in your setup. You'll notice Kyle's comfortable standing here, and at this time we're going to watch him get into his bench press setup. Go ahead, Kyle. Okay, you notice first thing he did, he left his feet stationary. He stood where he was comfortable with them. He again has a nice arch. He's pinching his shoulder blades. Everything's tight. Everything we talked about, he's covered to this point. The only thing that we need to talk about during the bar, uh, the plane of travel of the bar, is the fact that we want to pinch and pull apart. The same motion we did with that mini band, we're pulling apart. What I want all the lifters to do here in ICG on our arch bench is when you're pushing the bar, we want you to pull it apart. Try to stretch this seven foot bar into a nine foot bar. What that's going to do is make sure your elbows stay in, it's going to keep your triceps nice and tight and activated. Where you lose your power on a shirt arch bench is where your elbows come out and you are done. You're flatlined right there, okay? So we always, you'll hear us during the workout, pull, pull, pull. We're talking about pulling the bar apart, forcing your elbows in, and keeping the bar in a nice plane. You'll notice where Kyle's, Kyle's bar travels. One, two, three. Big breath, big breath in. Okay, Kyle brings the bar down, elbows in. Pull apart, 
Good. Explode, keeping his elbows in, and he's trying to pull this bar. That's going to keep everything tight, keep his chest out, even through sets with reps. All right, we're going to rack this bar. Show you Brian's setup. All right, this is Brian. Go ahead, Brian. Brian backs into the bar in the same spot on his lower back every time. That way he knows exactly where he's at. Okay? Again, his feet are playing it nice where he likes them. Ass on the bench, nice big arch. Okay? Again, we're trying to uh, pick, grab the bar, pinch and pull, pinch and pull. Brian's going to grab the bar here. We're going to do a lift off, big, huge breath of air in his mouth on three. One, two, three. Okay. Big stroke, big stroke. Come down. Up, go. Down. Up, go. Good. Down. Up, good. Grab it. What we're going to do now is we're going to show you Brian's setup technique, Kyle's setup technique, and my, my setup technique while we're in our workout, okay? Today we have hanging bands, um, so we're going to shoot some footage during the workout of our setups and kind of show you guys what we're doing. We'll talk some more at the end when we're done. difficult part about going from traditional benching to arch bench pressing? Uh, from traditional to the power pressing is actually keeping the weight and trusting yourself out in front of you where you originally want to press back over your head or staying out above the belly. That is the hardest part. All right, again we have Kyle Alessandro here. Again uh, Kyle, what was the most difficult part for you in learning arch bench pressing? Uh, the most difficult part would be utilizing everything else, such as your back and your legs. Uh, try not to get your hips to come up and still use all your leg strength. That would probably be my hardest part. Okay, so in closing, I just want to tell everybody thanks for watching. Stick with it. Take your time. It's not uncommon to feel weak when you're learning the arch bench press. It's not uncommon to not feel as comfortable. Give it a fair chance. Give it a fair shake. 
It's very difficult and very beneficial when you can incorporate every muscle in your body into a bench press as opposed to your pecs. That's what we're here about at thepowerlifting.com. We're here to blow it up for you, get you stronger in health. Thanks a lot.